Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to prepare for Block Suits Update 20 since the update is going to be coming very shortly. In today's video, I'm going to be giving guys secret tips on how to prepare for Block Suits Update 20 so you're going to be better prepared than other players who don't watch my video. So yeah, let's get this video started guys. Also guys, we're going to be doing a Dark Lead giveaway at 25,000 subscribers and we're going to be doing a Permanent Food giveaway at 30,000 subscribers. So guys, we are very close to the Dark Lead giveaway. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Without further ado guys, let's get this video started. Alright guys, so first of all, the most important thing that you guys need to be prepared for is you're going to need to have a lot of fruits. And by this, I'm going to say you're going to need to have at least... Two dragon fruits and two true control fruits. So right now I already have um, a permanent dragon fruit, but I'm still not prepared myself actually, which is pretty bad. I probably will stream soon, but you're gonna need at least two dragon fruits and at least two control fruits and maybe two shadow fruits as well because shadow is gonna be or is rumored to be getting a rework. And sh dragon and shadow is also confirmed to get a rework. Which and there's actually a website that will help you do this, which is also going to be the sponsor of today's video. Now, one to three demands.com is going to be a site where you can tr where you can check the prices of different stuff you can trade for. So it supports Pet Simulator X and also Blocks Foods. Now, I know most most of you here are gonna be here for Blocks Foods, so let's go check out Blocks Foods. So as you guys can see right here, you can check out the prices of basically every foods in the game. As you guys can see right here, you can check the prices of every food in the game plus ads traded for or two spirits plus one control so as you guys can see right here this is the price this is what is usually traded for for dragon doe plus buddha or doe plus add or two spirits plus one control which is actually pretty pretty useful you can also check the demand here you can also check the tier so how strong it is and you can also check if people overpay for it which in my opinion is super super helpful you can also check the prices of permanent foods. So as you guys can see right here, I traded my permanent food for about 5 to 7 leopard worth of stuff. And right here it says 5 to 7 leopard plus ads, which is very very correct in which in what I traded my um permanent dragon for. So yeah, this website is gonna be pretty useful when it comes to trading, guys. So don't forget to check out this website because it will 100 percent help you when it comes to trading. Also, join their Discord because they have giveaways, which is gonna be very helpful when it comes to getting all those foods. Now that we have the trading, now that we have the fruits out of the way, the next thing that you need to do after you have all the fruits is basically get max level. Now I'm not gonna get too much on, not, I'm not gonna stay too much on this, but getting max level is gonna be pretty important. And then the next one is actually going to have mastery 600 or uh, mastery at least 300 on all your fighting styles. But in my opinion, getting 600 mastery on all your fighting styles is gonna be the best bet. So for example, um, my god human has 600 mastery. All my other fighting styles have 600 mastery. So I recommend you guys get 600 mastery in all your fighting style if there is gonna be a new fighting style that will come out. And then the next one is going to be get a lot of fragments and also a lot of belly because fragments and belly is actually going to be pretty u uh, useful in the next update since we're gonna be getting trading mechanism and we're also gonna be getting new fighting styles and new awakenings. So getting tons of fragments and belly is gonna be very, very uh, helpful when it comes to buying those new foods, buying those awakenings, buying those new fighting styles. So it's gonna be useful in general. So how do you get tons of fragments and belly very fast? So in my opinion, just do raids. Doing raids is going to be the best thing for you when it comes to getting tons of fragments and belly very, very quickly. You can also do CB stunting. However, CB stunting is a little bit more difficult. But yeah, CB stunting is very useful as well. Now, the very last thing I'm going to say is um, go get a crew or join a crew. So I'm actually looking for people with 30 million bounty or more, as you guys can see right here. Because in the next uh, Bloxus update, we're going to be getting a crew system. And this crew system is actually going to be... Um, it's gonna make it so that the crew system is gonna be much more wider and much better. So get a better crew. And also for the last thing, get all of your swords. Basically get all the swords in blocks with if you can. Get them to max because they're all gonna be getting a rework. And that's gonna be very, very cool. So yeah, that's gonna be it guys on how you prepare for blocks with update 20. If this video gets at least 10,000 views, I will do a part 2. So don't forget to join our Discord and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out everyone.